the best way to take in the countryside is by the paddle steamboat. This is Living Local, Traveling Global with Kelly Farrow. Featuring United States Tour Operators Association member Avanti Destinations in Saxony, Germany. Saxony has so much to talk about, but on my independent tour with Avanti Destinations, a USTOA member, I was completely blown away by the stunning landscape. Vibrant nature was all around us, and it was just overwhelmingly beautiful. This is Saxon, Switzerland, and I'm on the famous Best Eye Rocks. Look at that. You can see why these rocks have been attracting visitors since the 1800s, formed by water erosion over a million years ago. A bridge now links the rocks so you can explore or even rock climb if you dare. You have to see these natural wonders in person. They were a highlight of the tour for me. And the ridiculous vantage point gives you unparalleled bird's eye views of the miles and miles of valleys, fields, and mountains that make up Saxon Switzerland National Park. Springtime in Saxony is truly something to marvel at. Another must-see is the nearby Konigstein Fortress. Built on one of the Elbe Valley's flat-top mountains, the fortress served as a safe haven for Saxony's royal families, and it was never conquered. Now you can have historical tours through the grounds and the museums on top. We are on the biggest fortress in Saxony. It's an old fortress. It was built at the end of the 16th century. The king's family came in times of war because it was too dangerous to live in Dresden. And from here you have a wonderful view into the landscape. Saxony was ruled by a long lineage of royals, and now many of their palaces remain in pristine condition. To make the experience even more authentic, Avanti Destinations allowed me to visit a few as a royal myself. We've traveled back in time today. I'm Countess Kelly, and we're heading to my castle, Little Pheasant Castle, which was actually built just to receive guests. I never actually lived there. And it's a beautiful spring day, and we're taking a carriage ride there, as any Countess would. My morning ride helped me to step back in time for just a moment. And let me tell you, I could get used to this royal treatment. Just next door, you will find the older, grander version, Moritzburg Castle. This Baroque summer palace rests imposingly on a man-made island surrounded by a lake. Built over 500 years ago, dukes, electors, and other VIPs used the castle for leisure activities, like hunting and parties. And today, you could admire the feather room and the leather-covered walls on a tour inside. Another charming stop in the countryside is the town of Gorlitz. Gorlitz is one of the most well-preserved towns in all of Germany, maybe all of Europe. It was completely untouched by the war, so the city center is exactly as it was a thousand years ago. And as you can see, these charming streets almost look like a movie backdrop, and that's exactly what they are. A large number of Hollywood productions have been shot right here, like the Grand Budapest Hotel, The Reader, and Inglorious Bastards. Now you can see why its nickname is Gorleywood. You can feel the ambiance of the Middle Ages as you walk down the cobbled streets, which were on a popular trading route at that time. Gorlitz is known for its architecture, and here this arch was built in 1832, and it has a secret. It's called the Whispering Arch. Let me show you why. Here you go. See, you can hear me perfectly, and I'm whispering, even though I'm far away from you. It's crystal clear. They're pretty smart to build this like that, huh? Gorlitz is located right on the border of Poland, and I mean right on the border. Right now I'm in Germany, now I'm in Poland. Germany, Poland. It makes international travel pretty easy, right? Well, Gorlitz is the most beautiful town in Saxony. Um, it has preserved most of the traditional uh, pre-war buildings in Saxony, and almost in all Germany. Another thousand-year-old city definitely worth a look is Meissen. I love the local feel of these small towns, each one unique and important to the character of Saxony. Getting to wander the streets really brought the history and personality of Saxony to life for me. 
We're in the charming town of Meissen, which is famous for its exquisite handcrafted porcelain. I stopped to grab a coffee right in the town square, and I learned a really interesting story about the Meissner Fummel. This sweet treat right here is not meant to be eaten. This is actually, in the olden days, was used to transport porcelain, and they would make sure that the porcelain had a safe journey if it came and it wasn't broken. Now it's more of a souvenir, tourists buy it, and they kind of use it as a good luck charm to make sure their porcelain gets home safely. But look at this thing, you don't even eat it. By car, by foot, by carriage, Saxony is gorgeous, but I think my favorite way to see it is by boat. We took a paddle steamer along the Elbe River, part of the largest and oldest steamer fleets in the world. Bike trails, castles, vineyards, a slice of Saxony just comes to you as you float on by. It's the perfect pace to take in these beautiful pastoral landscapes, castles, the villages, and you can do the whole experience while enjoying a beer. My kind of trip.